All right, video three. Eric Pana with a pivot head, sunglasses, and a built-in camera. Uh, see, I just fired these uh, with the Golden Tiger rounds. I think these performed, I think, better than the Russian stuff I got. But, uh, uh, I just put this new stock on the gun, so it's kind of different holding it and haven't fired this gun that much. So still getting used to how it shoots. Right, I found out it shoots to the left. I mean, no, it shoots. Yeah, it shoots to the right. And I hate how some of these. Yeah, some of those clips aren't broken in yet. But uh. Right, sitting position. Let's see how this works out. Alright, guns live, and here we go. Alright, firing. Uh, way high. Oh, I think that one just failed to fire. Or it didn't shoot back at all. I'm thinking this thing never came back. But I'll let this thing sit for a second. Because I, I swear I pulled the trigger and heard that thing click and it, nothing went off. Yeah, best thing to do is kind of let stuff sit if you're very unsure of the gun. Just remember to have your hearing protection, sunk, your um, glasses on. Yep. Yep. Failure to fire. Probably stupid to be holding the round right now, but yeah, there is a dent on there. All right, we're gonna put that that way. I think that's my first uh, fa failure to fire ever, and I've shot uh, thousands of rounds through all my guns. I've never had one fail to fire, so maybe I won't be buying this ammo anymore because that's a first. Let's try this other stuff. Oh. Safety off. Feels like I'm shooting high. Nope, nope, nope. I think I... I'm actually getting close now. I'll go on, I'll go look at the target. And before I was high and to the right, then I was too high, but I was straight above the orange dot. Now I think I got one that's too far left. Yeah, I still shot a couple up high. Because this one, these three were there, this one there, that one and that one. And then that one's new and that one's new. So, uh, looked like I was getting lower the one time I shot too far left. And it, yeah, it was way off. But uh, that's probably the best thing to have. When you have a new gun, just get a scope for it, get a red dot, something where you can uh, more accurately um, sight the target in in the exact same spot. I mean, it's, it's easier to have a whole clear, um, clear field of vision, have a little red dot on a target than having these iron sights. Because if these, back there, this whole b bottom piece is blocking most of the target. 
and with the uh, inexperienced users it's it tends to not be a very consistent shot you could be off an inch on the orange dot you could be high but uh yeah definitely have to get a red dot for this so I can uh, just see where it shoots at and then uh, I can take it back off because uh, you really don't need any scopes or anything for up close but uh, 